If somebody told me these 10 things I'm going to share today before I spent almost 4,000 hours playing Rocket League, I would have ranked up three times faster. The whole point of this video is to save you a couple hundred hours that I wasted. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. Also, our coaching sponsor, the Grand Champ Bootcamp, are looking for 15 plat through champ ranked players who want to get Grand Champ before 2024. If that's you, DM them the keyword 24 on Discord to see if you might qualify for coaching. Okay, the first thing I wish I knew was not playing with cold hands. When I made my playing with pros series about a year ago, the first time I heard a pro say that they needed to warm up their hands, I thought it was just a joke for why they were missing. Right. Oh my God, over. Shooting? No. But as I played with more and more, I realized playing with cold hands is not a joke. Every time before I play rank now, I bring a towel over so my hands don't get sweaty while I'm sweating. And if they're cold, I'll rub them together, turn up the heat in my room. Or a tip I learned from Wait and Pilkin is literally run them over warm water. Try this if you're feeling off and you might just play twice as fast in your rank games. Lesson number two, monitor settings matter. In 2022, I went to RLCS Worlds and I hosted this like mini 1v1 tournament at G2's box in Dickie's Arena, literally at the venue. Now, while I thought this would just be a fun thing to do for subscribers, Subscribers, and I would clean up some games and be able to joke around while playing, I learned a lesson for the first time. And that's that it is not easy to play Rocket League on console. Call me crazy, but when I played on a console with like 60 FPS and slower speeds, instead of my normal Titan gamer PC, 360 hertz refresh rate and you know, all the rest of it, my mechanics were way worse. Having a slow monitor made me struggle to win games against players at Worlds who literally sat down and told me they were GC1 before we started playing. Truth is, monitor settings matter a lot. And if you can, you want to invest in a high quality monitor and make sure your settings are optimized for performance. The more serious you are about ranking up, the more important this becomes. So I'll drop one of my settings videos on screen to help you optimize those if you haven't yet, but don't sleep on monitor settings. Mistake number three, watch your own games. I remember when I was champ one or champ two, the mistake I used to make was always throwing possession. And when I started playing with one of my higher ranked GC friends at the time, and he told me that I needed to start holding onto the ball and dribbling and controlling it more, I shot up to GC in just a couple months. And I know it can sometimes be hard to spot your own mistakes, but when you watch your own games and ask people for critical feedback of you, you actually can start to figure out what's holding you back. Fourth thing I wish I knew, playing with better players. Now, until I was about champ, I remember I could pretty much queue with any of my friends, no matter what rank we were, and we could have some pretty close rank games. But once I decided that I was going to be a hardo and I wanted to get grand champ back in, you know, 2020 or whatever it was, I realized that in order to climb to the very high ranks at Rocket League, sometimes you need to find new people to play with that aren't just your, you know, casual rumble drop shot boys from school. Now, I get it. If your goal is just to have fun playing Rocket League, please don't let me pull you to the dark side of grinding ranked. The moment you decide you want SSL, it's all downhill from there. But if you already joined me on the dark side and you've decided you want to get SSL, playing with better players is one of the best ways to do it. In my opinion, the best way to meet competitive players is through Discord servers. There are a lot of free Rocket League improvement discords. My buddy Lazord founded a Discord called Rocket League Help that's very, very good. Or if you want to support the channel and you want to spend more time with me, I also founded a Rocket League Discord and we're now actually the number one free Discord for ranking up. So if you're serious about ranking up, but you just need better players to team with, join up and drop a message in our looking for group chats. We have players from all around the world and it's completely free to join and you can leave whenever you want. Fifth thing I wish I knew is it is a waste of time to blame teammates. Look, I get it. When our teammate is spamming take the shot after sending a top five worst center of all time, it can be easy to switch into the mindset of my teammate sucks and everything else that happens in this game is my teammate's fault. I get it. Like in the moment when I'm tilted, it feels good to just blame my teammate because then I don't feel like I have to deal with any of the problems. Or even if I made a small mistake, I can say it wasn't my fault. And you can get away with doing it every now and then. But that mentality 
mentality, if you hold that throughout the ranks, is going to hold you back. Think about it this way. If Appjack was dropped in a Grand Champ 1 lobby on stream, do you think he would start complaining if his Grand Champ teammate missed the ball? No. He would laugh. He'd say, yep, this looks like Grand Champ 1. And then he'd proceed to carry the game and get SSL back by the end of the stream. So point is, instead of getting tilted at your teammates, go in expecting them to make mistakes. And then when they do, you can laugh at them and just put on the hat of, I'm going to carry you out of this rank and play as if you were a pro player. The sixth thing is you need to get faster. I feel like every couple months, I learned this lesson again. I remember back in 2021, when I first learned the speed flip, I thought I was the fastest person in Grand Champ and I never have to get quicker. Now people in Diamond are speed flipping. And I could go on and on and list more mechanics for you. But point is, you always need to be getting faster if you want to rank up in Rocket League. I'm not saying you have to be able to do every single mechanic in Rocket League to get out of Diamond or Champ. But what I am saying is you need to be open to learning new things. Because spoiler, you're not going to get out of Champ if you refuse to learn how to fast aerial or wave dash. Get faster and you will get MMR. Number seven, stop worrying about cringe strategies. Say what you want about bumps being cringe or dribbles or bounce dribbles being cringe. If you're trying to play Rocket League to win, you need to get all this BS about certain mechanics being cringe and certain mechanics being okay out of your head. I'm telling you this because I used to play 1v1 and I would get upset when people started telling me I wouldn't be able to win in chat without going for air dribble bumps. Honestly, I would have progressed so much faster if somebody would have just gave me a green card to go for the moves that I thought were best in game. So that's what I'm doing for you. Stop worrying about cringe strategies. If you're in 1v1, spam air dribble bumps. You will rank up. Rule number eight, don't Q ranked when tired. I'm not your dad, but I promise you nothing good happens in the rank jungle at 2 a.m. Unless you're literally first killer and you wake up at 5 p.m. and go to sleep at noon, not calling shots on first killer, just all Rocket League pros do this. Basically, if you're not a Rocket League pro, don't queue ranked at 2 a.m. The only people that you're gonna find then are sweats and ranked menaces. So save yourself the game, go get some sleep, don't play ranked when you're tired. Mistake number nine, limit ranked sessions. I will tell you, my rank improved a ton when I started limiting my ranked sessions to max 90 minutes. Now there's this term called an ultradian cycle, which I'm not going to pretend like I understand fully, but basically it's science speak for humans can only focus for a certain amount of time. Now for most people, these ultradian cycles of increasing and decreasing focus last about 90 to 110 minutes, which means whether you're studying for a test, whether you're exercising or whether you are sitting at your keyboard mouth breathing playing Rocket League the ideal length for max performance is 90 to 110 minutes maximum before you take a break so for max ranked results try limiting how long you queue before either getting off or at the very least taking a break and you might just win more games without even having to think about it finally the last thing I wish somebody told me you need to warm up the right way if you followed my content, you've probably heard me or somebody else tell you that you should warm up before you play. So if you're currently somebody who just loads up free play and starts air dribbling the ball around for your warm up, stop it. Listen up. This video is for you. But the problem I think most of us fall into is we cope and we tell ourselves that five minutes of free play air dribbles is our warm up. Coach Luke here to tell you five minutes of free play air dribbles has never and will never be a complete warm up. The truth is you should be warming up the stuff that you use on repeat. I'm talking about recoveries. I'm talking about shooting. I'm talking about wall play, aerials, dribbling, all the fundamentals, you know, the 20% of mechanics that get you 80% of your results. And when you focus on this, your consistency in game and your ability to actually hit shots will skyrocket. Okay. That was 10 things I wish somebody would have told me sooner. And if you like this video, there's one I actually made about a year ago with a little more tactical stuff that you can use in your rank games. So click here to see the nine ways you can rank up without training in Rocket League. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace guys.